So it's the middle of summer and snapper fishing is very popular this time of year. So we're going to do a quick ceviche, which is basically a dip. Ceviche is actually not something that you cook. You actually cook it with the acids from fruit. Now what we've got here is two small fillets from a red snapper. You can use any kind of snapper, bee liner, mangrove snapper, whatever you have. You want to fillet it off the skin. And what we're going to do first is the cooking process. And that's what's done with the fruit. Basically, the citrus, the limes, the lemon actually cooks the meat. We like to cook it and slice it very thin. Everything in this, I think, tastes better when it's sliced thin. It kind of gels all the flavors together. So you really just want to put your fingernail against it, slice against the grain, kind of like you would a skirt steak, so you get these little tiny strips. And try not to get any bloodline in there either. This is also going to help the meat cook a little bit faster. This is actually something you can even do on the boat. You can prepare your vegetables and fruits for the dip and then just add the cooked fish if you want. I learned this recipe from my boyfriend. He uh, makes the best ceviche I've ever had. And uh, I've tried it a lot of different ways. You can actually make it with shrimp too. You might see that in restaurants a lot. The next step shows how much I cut my fingers when I'm fishing because Every time I cut lemons and limes, I tend to find the juice on my hand stinging something. Now, generally, it depends on how much fish you want. I usually get about eight limes. Uh, I've got a mix of lemons and limes here. But the goal is you want to get enough fruit so that you can actually uh, coat the meat completely, have it pretty much buried. You'll know it's done if the meat, you can't see through it. You want it to be kind of white. And it generally takes, depending on how much you have, about two to three hours. That's good. So basically, you want to have enough juice, maybe one more, kind of knead it down on my fingers to where it's completely wet and all the meat is covered in submersed in some juice. So now the fish is ready to cook. And this is where the chemical reactions take place. I usually just put it back in the fridge just like this for about two hours. And when we come back, we'll drain a little bit of the juice out and add the rest of the ingredients. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because the flavor is so good. It has more garlic, onion, paprika, lemon, and not too much salt. It has much better flavor. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag, and pour and boil for great crawfish every time. If you hunt or fish, you really need to check out 20echo.com. It's an app that you can take on the water or on the hunt. It logs all the information. It's got the date, the GPS location, tons of information to log your catch or kill. It's a great thing to have. Check it out at 20echo.com and you'll see it more on Bayou Wild TV. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Welcome back. While well, our ceviche is almost ready, we've got our snapper fish already cooked in the lime juice. You can see how it's changed color. It's kind of white now, opaque a little bit. You can't see through it anymore, so that's how you know it's done. Now we're going to drain a little bit of the lime juice out, not all of it, but enough so that it's not soupy. This is the easy part. We're going to add one yellow pepper. You can use any color you want. I tend to think that the colored flavors taste a little bit better. They're sweeter. They didn't have any reds at the store, so I got orange and yellow. One red onion. I prefer red onions. It's got a little more flavor. I'm not going to use all of this because it is a big onion and there's not a huge amount of fish here, so maybe about half of an onion. The key ingredient, probably one of the most important ones, cilantro. Not everybody likes it, but I think it's the key to a good ceviche. Finely chopped up a little heat. We've got jalapeno, one jalapeno and one habanero finely chopped. There's one ingredient I don't have here that I sometimes do include and that's fruit. You can use peaches, you can use nectarines or pineapple, uh, anything really sweet. Sometimes people even include watermelon. Over here is our avocado, but since this is a very ripe avocado, I'm going to wait till this is mixed in before I add that. Also, you want to add some cracked bell, uh, black pepper. I'm always pretty generous with this. 
Now, the best part about this ceviche, it actually tastes better the next day after it sits in the refrigerator for a few hours and kind of blends the flavors of the vegetables. So it actually will really taste better tomorrow. A little bit of sea salt. One more touch before I'm gonna add the avocado. Just a cap full of club soda. What this is gonna do is take some of the tartness of the lime juice and lemon juice out. It's all you really need there. Kind of neutralizes the acids a little bit. Makes it a little bit less bitter. It's all you need is one cap full, maybe two. Just a little dash. Nice ripe avocado. You don't want one of those hard ones. They don't really taste so good. And this will last a couple days, but you really want to use it fresh. And one thing I forgot to mention in the beginning was fresh snapper only. You really don't want to use any fish that's been frozen. It just doesn't have the same texture and the same freshness. So this is all about what's out of the garden and what's fresh. And there you have it. Like I said, you can add or subtract things you don't like and add things you do, but generally that's what it looks like.